hydrographs, the clue is in the name. So hydro, we're talking about water, grass, we're looking at a graph and a storm. So it's usually a flood event that we are looking at. So this is a storm hydrograph for a period of two days. As you can see on the X axis, we have time. So from day one to day two in hours. And on the Y axis, uh, a bit like a climate graph, we have two Y axes. So one for this uh, bar chart, which shows rainfall and one for this line graph that shows uh, river discharge, which is measured in cubics or meters cubed. So the different parts of a flood hydrograph. So starting off with the bar chart, these show when the rainfall has occurred. So you have peak rainfall, which is the highest point on the bar chart. In terms of uh, the line chart, you'll notice that the line graph is a little bit uh, further on in time in terms of river discharge, because it takes a little bit of time for uh, the water that falls uh, as rainfall to get into the river channel. So you have the rising limb, which is uh, the water moving towards and into the river channel. We then have peak discharge when the river is at its highest output or discharge in terms of cumex. And then finally the falling limb as the river returns back to its base flow, which is its normal uh, level. The time between peak rainfall and peak discharge is known as the lag time and there are a number of factors that can affect how long between the peak rainfall and the peak discharge or when the most water uh, is in the river or the rivers at its highest that we will look at. So the first one is the soil type. Now generally two soil types, impermeable soil and permeable soil. You can see the difference between the two there. So more pore spaces in a permeable surface. Generally cities and urban areas have impermeable surfaces Think of concrete, uh, but also with increased drainage systems. So an impermeable surface, that will lead to a very steep rising and falling limb and a very short lag time. But a permeable surface, so for example in a rural area with more through flow, will have a more gentle rising limb and a more gentle uh, falling limb with a sh uh, much longer lag time. Uh, vegetation, so uh, when we're thinking about vegetation, uh, in a forest increased intersection by the vegetation around this river, river is slowing down the water getting into uh, the river and becoming discharged, so the falling limb again is quite gentle uh, and also the rising limb as well. If deforestation was to occur though, that intersection would not happen, so uh, the bare land, the deforested land would have a steep uh, and rising and falling limb and also uh, a very short lag time. Finally, valley side steepness. So having a look at this valley in terms of rainfall that's going to fall, it'll drain into the river very quickly. So if the valley side steepness is very steep, very high falling limb uh, and steep uh, rising limb, uh, but also a very short lag time. So the water getting into the river very quickly. But if we have a gentle valley side steepness, a very gentle uh, rising and falling limb and a much longer lag time.